Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a brand new and super exciting video. I am going to be sharing with you my designer shoe collection. I don't have a lot because, again, if you've been on my channel for a while now, you would have known that I was never a shoe girl before. It wasn't until a couple of years back I started getting into shoes. So, someone who collects shoes that was never me, I used to wear kind of like the same pair of shoes all summer, all winter, and that was it. That was me. Um, I, I've always said I'm more of a clothes person. I love clothes. Um, I rather buy a lot of clothes, but then again, keep my accessories kind of like minimal. Um, so that's just me personally. But lately, I have been getting into shoes. And even over the last couple of years, I've gotten into shoes, obviously, but I just feel like my collection is pretty small and um, since I will be selling some of these items I thought I would share with you my designer shoe collection before I part ways with them so if you're interested in this keep on watching again it's so hot in New York well in Jersey and oh my goodness it's been impossible to create any content because I have to turn off my AC and once I turn off my AC and then it's just like oh my goodness summer is the ultimate ghetto like unless you're about to be out by the pool all the time it's just like OMG like what is going on you can barely do anything so let's start with my first pair of designer shoes so for my first pair I think I went big with Chanel these were well, this is the Chanel Pearl Mules these shoes were never on my wish list if you go I'm gonna link my unboxing somewhere on the screen or down below where I actually unbox this with you I'm actually selling these these were never on my wish list for shoes because I think they're like trendy, they're not really my style, they don't look good on my feet. I just feel like if your style is more kind of like cool and more trendy, this one will go perfect for you. I've probably worn these shoes about three times and the entire time I've had them. I bought them in Paris and Louis Combon and everything. Um, again, Monroe was looking for these and then we went together at the Chanel store and then, and then I was like, okay, let me try them on. I'm off a slingback girl, so I tried these on, next thing you know I was paying for them. I don't think they have the slingbacks available there or something like that. So I'm going to end up getting the Chanel slingbacks. These, again, not me at all, but they just like, they were so dreamy. I think the thing that draws me to them, it's that CC on the pearl on the back. Like, this is like the coolest detail on a shoe. They're so sexy. I honestly thought about keeping them just for that detail because they're like so so perfect but i just don't think the shoe does not look attractive on my feet personally and again it was kind of like spur of the moment that oh i tried them on i was like hey why not buy them because i'm in paris or whatever so i will be selling these i think i've already listed them on the real wheel sorry i tried to sell them on my instagram to give you guys a really good discount but you guys were playing games so i decided to just go to the real wheel so that way they can just sell them for even a higher price um, than what I was selling them for so so yeah um, I got 36 and a half because in mules I tend to always get six and a half because you need the extra space they fit perfectly because I'm a size six again these were my first designer pair of shoes when I'm thinking about it yeah these are my first um, pair of designer pair of shoes so those are the Chanel Pro mules I will be getting the slingbacks the second pair actually is also Chanel I actually got these from Lacey Port, that vintage shop in Paris. There's a vlog about it when I bought these. Um, I bought these together with another one. I think I ended up paying like 230 euros for both of them, which was um, a, a great deal. But I mean, the vintage and things like that. These, the only thing I've had to replace that little heel many times because these are like my favorite Chanel shoes ever. They are the most comfortable thing. And then of course they like in the beige color they used to go with kind of like everything for some reason the beige and the pearl mule is just such a difficult color to pair with anything especially if you're someone who does not like wearing black as these are like an absolute fave i can walk in these all day long they're like so so freaking chic like absolutely love them they're like fab so these are like my second pair and my third one and then that was it for me i kind of like stopped about designer shoes i was just like eh, you know whatever and then i started watching sex in the city when the whole pandemic started and then all of a sudden i fell in love with manolos i was like oh my goodness i need my manolos so badly i was never interested in the hang dc 
the one that I really wanted was actually the mule, the Maysell mule. I wanted it in that cream color, kind of like that beigey color, like this. And then I just couldn't find them. They were not available. So I kept looking and kept looking. And then um, I, I saw these, which is the slingback version. I was just like, okay, even better. So I ended up getting these from Farfetch. This was my first Manolo purchase, I believe. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was my first one because, again, it's just a Maysell mule. It's called the Maysley. And then with the sling back, which actually even better because, you know, you can actually dress these up. These were my first one. I actually got them in Farfetch. My Farfetch code just expired. I'm so, so sorry. But I will be having another code very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, so these were the first pair that I started. I just started buying Manolos like crazy. Um, again, I didn't realize how much money I was saving from not being, you know, from not going out because I was eating out literally every day. So I started buying Manolos again from watching Sex in the City. I fell in love with the brand and OMG, like I started buying Manolos. These were my first pair. I couldn't find them in my size. I ended up getting a six and a half, but I do make them work. They do fit me. They're a little bit loose but they are fine they're like my favorite because they kind of like go with all my neutral outfits they're like so perfect for like every day if i'm going to like a meeting or something like that these are like absolutely stunning i love these so much and my next pair that i got also from farfetch are these <laughs> macy also so i got the green one because in my mind i thought "Ooh, i'm really gonna then i was like oh i need something sparkly now so Wanting something sparkly, I just went, because I wasn't ready for the hang see yet. I love a sling bag, so I was just like, let me, I'm, I'm actually selling these. Because I thought the green was just like, it's such a neutral, but for some reason, I just don't wear it often. Um, which is sad, so I just don't want to like hang on to them when someone else could just be enjoying them. So I think I'm just going to part ways with these. Just sad, uh, very sad. So, um, as much as I love the green, I thought this was going to be the perfect color for me. It turns out I like yellow more as a color. So the yellow ones are the ones that I wear the most. So I thought, you know what, let me just sell these to someone who actually loves wearing green all the time. Because I don't have enough green stuff in my wardrobe um, to go with those. And these are like the, again, the slingbacks, the slingbacks version of the hangy seas. Again, that, you know, that booklet detail over here is just absolutely stunning with that buckle. It just like sparkles. It's like a party in your feet. They like the shoes that just make a statement. Again, if you're a chic girl, I think Manolo is probably like the best brand for you. In terms of like designer, Manolo is, is actually my second favorite designer. Sarah Flint is my top favorite designer. Um, but I'm doing this video because it's like the typical designer, designer that, you know, typical, um, that usually people... Um, know of which is why I am featuring these but these are like my second pair and I've probably worn these shoes about once or twice so which is why I am parting way with this um, these will be listed somewhere on the real wheel um, so yes these are absolutely stunning oh my goodness they're so beautiful like oh I need to get closer so you guys can actually see the detail on these they like so pretty but I did unbox them, so again, all of these shoes, I technically have an unboxing for them, which you can go and check out. And my third one, I wasn't sure which one it was, but I ended up finding the Maysell Mules, but in the white, not the cream, not the beige one. So I ended up getting them anyways, because I thought I tend to wear a lot of white, so I thought I will get a lot of wear out of them. I'm actually selling these, turns out I don't really wear them much. As you can see, it's brand new. I probably worn these about once or twice as well i thought i was gonna wear these so much i think if they were like the cream color i would wear them a lot more often but these are like absolutely stunning oh love love them again if you're looking for manolos farfetch has the largest selection of manolos if you don't know how farfetch works they link their inventory with like stores around the world so that way you can shop um inventories from wherever you are which is fantastic so I ended up getting these. Again, as beautiful as these are, I just don't wear them often. So I would rather someone who actually would wear them to, you know, to buy them and have them. As I said, they're like brand, brand new. I only wear them like once or twice to so like beautiful. And my next pair, I finally was just like, you know what? Actually, now it's time for me to get the hangy seas in my wardrobe. So I decided to go, not to go for the typical Carrie Bradshaw one, which is the blue. 
because personally I wouldn't wear that blue um, it's just not a color for me that I see myself wearing so I would perhaps never own it in the blue even I don't know if I was to get married actually I was thinking these shoes would probably be that for me the Jimmy Choo not those but I abs I'm so happy I got them in the yellow when I bought them I wasn't sure if I would ever was going to even wear them at all and OMG these are the shoes that I wear the most like every time I'm going out I want a shoe that make a statement these are the shoes that I go for sadly when I was driving I didn't realize like the bottom was touching the rug on the on the car so they got dirty a little bit so I'm gonna see if they can like clean them for me I'm gonna look online to see if I can clean them myself but I wear these so so much I got I definitely get my money's worth out of these shoes they're like the perfect statement shoes and they go with like any color dresses that I wear to be quite honest like it doesn't matter the color these goes really really well um, these are probably one of my favorite purchases ever so if I had to pick my top two Manolos it would probably be the slim bags for like every day and then these for like night time for like day night time or date night when I want something super sparkly. My next pair of Manolos was these. These are the Paloma ones. These are like absolutely stunning. They're like in rose gold color. I got these on Intermix and then the height is it's pretty high and they're like sexy, sexy. I was in need of like a sexy pair of shoes because typically I like granny shoes. So I thought, you know what? You need to have a sexy pair of shoes in your wardrobe. So I decided to go for these and OMG, they are absolutely stunning. I love these so freaking much. As you can see, oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. I love these. So that is it for the Manolos. Again, if you're looking for Manolos, Farfetch is a place that I recommend for that because they have such a large selection of Manolos. The next pair that I got from Farfetch are my Jimmy Choo. I've been seeing these shoes around for a couple of years now. And then finally, I thought, you know what? Instead of getting another pair of Manolos, why not try another designer? I got 36 and a half also. These are so sexy, they're so classic. If you have classic style, these are the ones that I recommend. Even in the nude, they go with everything. Again, these can be your wedding shoes or they can be your everyday going out shoes. You can wear this on a beautiful brunch. You can wear this to kind of like a wedding. You can wear them to date night. I wear these to date night. It doesn't matter where you're going, you can actually wear these. They're like absolutely stunning. These are probably one of my favorite pair of shoes. The only thing is, if you have kind of like narrow feet, they kind of like slip up a little bit. But lately, I just feel like they've kind of like been taking the shape of my feet a little bit. So I don't know what happened. So if you do have wide feet, these should fit you um, perfectly. They are cutting the grass outside out of all days. But these are like one of my favorite pair of shoes. Abs. On the list of designers for the next one, slides. When it comes to designer slides, I was looking all over the place for designer slides, and then or the Hermes ones were the, like the chicest one I could find. The Dior ones, I'm not the biggest fan to be quite honest. With all the prints, they just kind of look a little, hmm, I don't know. They're not classy enough for me, but then again, you never know, I may change my mind tomorrow. But I just think the Hermes one or like the classic pair, like, I mean, I love the Dior one if you want to kind of like match your bag with the slides and things like that. But in terms of like an everyday shoe, I take these to the beach. I wear this on a lot of city. That's what I love about them. They're so versatile. You can actually take them to the beach. I know people are so scared to take them to the beach, but again, I don't really care for that. If I'm going to buy a shoe, I'm going to get my money's worth out of them. So I take these to the beach all the time. The scent doesn't really get stuck in them, it doesn't really do anything to them. I've had this for like over a year now and they still look brand new to me, honestly. So I started with the brown one. I would say that if it's your first pair of Hermes, get the white one. The white ones are more classic, especially if you're dark skin. These would actually blend in with your skin, like they get lost in your skin. Again, these were my first pair. I've always wanted them in this color because at the time I used to wear a lot of tan color. And then also I had bought my Loewe basket bag and I thought they would match them perfectly, which they do when I actually wear my Loewe bag. I typically go for these. But then again, they merge into your skin and it just, it doesn't really look like anything, but that doesn't, I don't know, that doesn't send me, um, stay me away from them. I still love them um, just the same. To be quite honest, there is something that you could actually buy a protector to put underneath, which I did. Um, but then again, you can also always have these resold if you have like a good um, person. You can have these resold. But this is like the chicest pair of slides. 
I actually feel comfortable kind of like dressing these up a little bit again before I was never a fan of the slide I always thought slides were just like too casual for me they weren't like chic or elegant enough but until I found the Hermes I mean they've been one for the longest time but the Hermes or Incendos I think they're like the perfect slides the most elegant slides for every girl every summer I love them so much I have them in three colors this was my first one I still wear them all the time and the next pair that I got was the white one when I saw how much I was wearing a lot of white plus I had gotten the Chloe bag I was just like ooh actually it's time to get the white ones and I'm so happy that I did again if I was to recommend a pair to start with I would highly highly recommend you start with the white one because I think the white ones are like classic they're like so beautiful again I wear these to the beach all the time or by the pool um, I'm not really precious about things because I don't know it just things to me you could always buy it again or something like that so absolutely love the white ones I just love how chic they are and classic you can actually dress them up again especially if you let me wear a lot of white dresses this is a great one I believe to go for so now that I had like the two classic pair of Hermes slides for the summertime I thought you know what I saw the yellow popped up on my email one day and then I went frantic on the website looking for them and I'm like oh my god yellow is my favorite color color like I absolutely need these like ASAP so I kept ordering them they keep like you know selling out and canceling my order I call them and then finally I was and then they came back and then I was able to order them and then I got them OMG they're like the perfect as you can see the theme here yellow is like my favorite color color um, they go with a lot of things in my wardrobe they go with that hat with that yellow string so much and a lot of the clothes that I have have yellow hands to them and yes these are just like so freaking stunning I love this color so much now I love the yellow so much I feel like I should I should include another color to my wardrobe um, if I was to, and I'm thinking, I'm like, mm, I should probably try a different brand, but none of the other brands really make slides that are chic enough like the Hermes ones. The Hermes ones take the cakes to be quite honest. I just don't find any other ones. I heard the YSL are not that comfortable, and honestly, I don't really like the YSL. I feel like the design is just like too, it's just too much for me. Um, what other brands? Fendi, I'm not sure about the Fendi ones. They're cute, but I'm not really sure. I just feel like because this is leather, it's just more kind of like classic rather than like the material or like the canvas one. That's what I love about these. Again, you can take this to the beach and then you can dress them up on your vacation to go shopping or do whatever you want. These are like the perfect shoes I think to just walk around any cities. That's just me personally. Again, I'm not precious about things. When I buy things, I like to wear them and get my money's worth, but if you're a yellow fan like myself i highly highly recommend you get them in the yellow they have them in green um hermes has like a variety of colors to be right on us you just have so many to choose from but the yellow oh my goodness it's such a stunner this is probably one of my favorite evs because it's such a pop of color like if you're wearing you know white dresses or even black dresses you guys know i'm not like um i don't really buy black shoes I rarely wear black shoes to be quite honest because black is not the color that I wear all the time because I mean I've already told you guys the reason why I typically don't wear black so um so yes I'm thinking of even getting the black one because I'm thinking hmm, honestly it's not necessary but we'll find out actually we'll see how I feel about that but yes I absolutely love these they're like perfect so this has been it for my designer shoe collections that was about 11 or 12 of them um let me know which pair was your favorite do let me know which one you're thinking about checking out and um yes thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys in my next video bye bye